Carl Funk, raised in Winnipeg. His paintings are internationally renowned, collected by major art museums across North America, including the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa and the Guggenheim Museum in New York. These are some of his paintings, and they're about to be shown in his hometown for the first time at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Hi, Carl. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. When was it that you captured the attention of the world? Like, when did that really start rolling for you? Um, well, I guess it happened right after I graduated from Columbia with my MFA in 2003. I had a solo show at 303 Gallery in New York, and they started to really do a fantastic job of promoting my work, and I, I think together uh, we were able to get a lot of collectors and, and institutions interested in my work. What does it feel like to be seeing your work this big in your hometown? Well, it's, it's flattering, it's very exciting, and uh, it's funny, I mean, that painting is only, I think, 15 inches square in real life, so yeah. it's considerably bigger on that banner. Is it a good example of uh, what we can experience in this exhibit at the WAC? I think so. Uh, there's Most of the work is going to be portraits of single figures like this, uh, wearing jackets, where quite often you don't even see their face or their identity, the hood is covering their head. Uh, there's a few still life paintings uh, that I just started doing that'll be in the show, and then a newer work that's almost becoming a bit more abstract. The detail in your work is amazing. If you don't get someone's ear right, you'll do it for months just to get it quite right that right. It's, it's kind of like that, but it's, it's, it sounds like torture, but for me it's fun. Like I love just reworking the painting and, and playing around with it and trying to get everything to look and feel just right. I want there to be a, sort of a sense of the history of painting in the portraits and also a reference to a, a contemporary urban life. How does it feel to be compared to the masters? It's flattering. I mean, I'm not that good. Nobody is anymore. Oh, so, yeah. wait till you see. <laughs> well, why have you chosen to still, you know, make your home here? Uh, you know, I, I love Winnipeg. It's uh, it's big enough that you have everything you, you could possibly want. It's got a great art scene, the music scene is amazing. I've got a lot of good artist friends who live here. So we've ended our little walk and we know because we're outside the art gallery. Why don't you end, uh, Carl, by just giving a little pitch to Winnipeg about why you would love it if they come and see your show. Well, um, I love portrait painting and I've tried to create some portraits that have a nice sense of history and a nice bridge to contemporary life. And I hope people can come down and find a painting or two that they'll find exciting. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.